And with all the COVID curveballs that we've been thrown lately, Disney World, Walmart, and Google, among the country's biggest companies, they're now requiring their employees to get vaccinated against the coronavirus. And new here tonight, I-Team investigator Katie Legron discovering a small but growing number of Florida nursing homes and assisted living centers are now joining that list, the very same facilities that for months struggled with the idea of mandating vaccines but are now slowly changing course. You want to go on this side, that side, this side? Come. After months of debating whether or not to mandate COVID-19 vaccines, some long-term care centers in Florida have decided it's time for employees to get the shot or risk losing their jobs. It was a difficult decision. We, we spent many months talking as a group. La Posada Long-Term Care Center in Palm Beach Gardens with more than 265 residents made the final decision two months ago before the latest wave of cases. After going through the year that we went through and taking care of our residents here at La Posada, that we felt it was the right thing to do uh, to create the safest environment for them to live in. The center's 250 staff members now have until September 30th to get vaccinated or be forced out. Since the announcement, the center has experienced a 20% increase in staff shots. According to its executive director, the number of workers who remain unvaccinated lingers at just over 20. We were expecting maybe 10 to 15% that uh, decided not to get the vaccination. And currently we're probably around 8% that have said that they're not gonna get it. La Posada follows a small but growing list of long-term care operators who recently announced mandatory vaccine policies for staff including the nation's largest single nursing home chain, along with Good Samaritan, which has several locations in Florida. In long-term care, workers are accounting for the majority of positive cases. Still, mandated vaccines have been a tough sell in an industry hit hard by the virus and desperate for workers. The shortage so bad here in Florida, some homes have had to turn new residents away. It's hard when you have a shortage of staff and you need to make sure your residents are being cared for. The state's leading nursing home association working with providers to find answers and people. A $1.8 million federal grant aims to help Florida facilities hire 3,000 certified nursing assistants over the next two years. Ultimately, we think the decision uh, to mandate the vaccination um, is it way much outweighs you know, um, the, the loss of a few associates as a result. La Posada knows it will lose at least a few employees by the end of September, but its chief believes the recent case surge will also force the industry to transition from giving workers the choice to making it for them. We feel it's the right thing to do, and I think that if you look at the statistics that are happening now, it, pr it proves that it is the right thing to do, especially in senior living communities. I'm my team investigator Katie Legrone taking action for you.